Welcome to Off Grid North Idaho. Please like our video by giving it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel so that you can get new videos every week for how to's on everyday living off grid. Thanks. We're back. We're going to be working with the solar cooker some more. We're going to try to cook up some rice. This will be our first meal cooked in it. I've got it placed closer to the house so that I can check on it frequently and it is roughly facing the sun. I've placed the, I think he calls it the sun finder here on the top. It's this little wooden piece. It's very clever. Soul cook. You can see that it's got a diagonal cut through the center of it. We're going to place it on the top edge of our top reflector so that the shorter, the skinnier section is towards the front is how I would word that. So I'm going to wedge that down on there. You can see up here it's got a shadow. Now here's where adjusting these panels comes in. When I move these panels down and I turn this, I can get it to see right here there's no shadow around at all. This is perfectly aligned with the sun at this moment. If I lift the coordinated solar array, as he calls it, up or down a little, I'm trying to do it one-handed while I film, um, it's going to cause the shadow to move over up to the top. And then you can also, he, the manufacturer says you can move it ahead of the sun a little bit. And I will put the phone down, pause this, and get it into position and then show you what I mean there. Okay, we're back. I've adjusted it up a little bit and I've moved it, angled it further away from me. And now you can see that I have a shadow going up above the dowel on my sun finder. And if you look at it directly on, you can see that it's about, I would call that the 10 or 11 o'clock position if you were talking about it as a clock face. And if I'm understanding the manufacturer correct, this means that as the sun moves across the sky, it's going to change the angle that the shadow falls, and that's going to indicate that from this point, we have about 90 minutes of good solar cooking time, and then as it passes past the dowel over to this side, we'll have another 90 minutes, which would give us a full three hours of cooking time without having to move the box, move the solar cooker, or change the angle of anything. So we are going to give this a try. Okay, so here's the rack. We're in position to give us about three hours of cooking time without having to adjust anything. I put the rack in. I'm going to get my cooking vessel. This is just a granite ware that we pulled out of our camping bins. It's black, it's fairly lightweight, so I anticipate that it will gather the heat, gather the sun, turn it into heat, and convert it quickly. I've got some rice in here with water. Just some basic rice and water. And this is our first cooking efforts. So I could put it simply right here, but what they suggest and include is to use a cooking bag. So this is what they call an oven bag. It holds in the steam and moisture. I'll put my cooking pot into it and kind of gather it up here around the handle. Twist it up and place it on my rack and you'll see it start to puff up as it's getting some heat in there. It's not going to do it a lot. I'm just going to use the clothespin that they included with the package and basically try to pin my tail. Okay. So, I've got my sun finder up here set. I should have about three hours of cooking time. I'm going to come back and check this in about one hour and see if we're, how we're doing. The hope is that we're going to get up to about 300 degrees in here and cook that rice. Okay, we're back and we have totally forgotten about the rice, got started on other things. So, it's been about four hours. I'm hoping it's cooked. So. The sun is long gone over that direction, and we're going to open this up and check our rice. Take off our little clip. Open it up. Let's see if the pan is hot. 
I can feel heat in there. And I could maybe touch it and get it out if I was quick, but I'm not going to try. So I'll lift it up, pull off the oven bag. I'm going to set this over here on the glass. And the big reveal. Oh, it looks like rice. Yay! That actually looks pretty darn good. Got a little plate here. We'll put some on. It's a little bit sticky. Good for sushi. As Rebecca says, good for sushi. Okay, we're going to give it a taste. Nice and soft. Very soft. Probably could have gone out sooner. But yay! So the all-season solar cooker cooked our rice. This is awesome. Tomorrow we're going to try some chicken wings. Check back for the next video. Please hit subscribe. Thank you.